Okay, so you want to password protect a folder in Windows 10 or 11. Now, the two methods I'm gonna show you here will work on any version of Windows. There are methods that only work in the professional version of Windows, but these two methods will work in any version. Now, both methods require a third-party app, but both of those apps are free to use. Okay, let's kick off with the first method. Now to use this method, you need to go down to the start button on your taskbar, down at the bottom left there. And then in the search bar, type store, and that should show the Microsoft store as an option. So click on it. And then once you're in the Microsoft store, click up in the search bar at the top and you want to type wise folder hider. Select it, and then click on Install. Then close down the Microsoft Store. And if you go back to your Start button, you should see the Wise Folder Hider in this recommended list. If you can't see it there, go to All Apps, and it should be somewhere in this list. So they're in alphabetical order. So on W, there you can see the WISE folder hider. So select it. Now what you have to do is set a password to use the application. So I'm gonna put in one, two, three, four. I suggest you don't use this password. Click on OK, and it opens the application. Now in the app, there are three buttons at the top here. Make sure hide file is selected. And all you need to do is drag and drop the folder that you want to set a password for into the app. So I'll just drag it into there. Now what it does by default is hide the folder, but what you can also do is set a password. So in this drop down list here is the option to set a password. Enter a password, click on OK, and then on OK again. I'll then close down the app. It says there's a privacy risk. The history of hidden files and folders is displayed in the File Explorer. Do you want to clean up when closing? Well, I'll say yes and close down this box. Now, if I want to open that folder, I need to go back into the app. It'll ask me for a password to get into the app. And there's the folder that I've hidden. And if I want to open it, I need to enter a password. So here's my folder, I can open up these files. But if I close the file within that folder, minimize windows, and then I'm gonna say close here, it then becomes hidden. And if I want to unhide it or open it, I'll need my password again. So you can see how that works. Now this works with the free version of Wise Folder Hider. If you want to be able to encrypt files, you can use this in the free version but you can only encrypt up to 50 megabytes. Beyond that, you'll need a paid version. Lock files is great if you just want to lock files, but doesn't allow you to actually lock a folder. So that's the first method. I'll close that application down. Now the second method is to use an application called 7-Zip. So we're in Google and we'll search for 7-Zip. Open the web page there. And we need to download this version of the application. Once it's downloaded, click on the executable file up there. Install. And then close. Now to use 7-Zip, all you have to do is right click on the folder that you want to create a password for. Go down to show more options. Go to 7-Zip and select Add to Archive. Now your archive format must be zip, and you'll probably want to delete the original copy of the files after you've zipped, so tick that option, and then enter your password. You have to confirm it. Your encryption method should be this, AES256. Click on OK, and now you've got your zip folder. 
the original copy of the folder has been deleted. Now, if I try and unzip this folder using the normal method, so extract all, and then click extract, I just get an error message. So what you're gonna to have to do to actually view and extract these files is to go back into the 7-zip application. So there's my zipped folder. If I select it and then go to extract up here, I can specify a location for the extraction. So let's say I'll extract to my desktop. Click on OK, put in my password. Click on OK again. So here's the folder. If I open it up, there are the files within it, and I can open up those files. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.